Hey people, this is Carl Lane here. I'm gonna explain and give you a deeper dive into a mechanical claim, not the typical car to car claim or car to tree or car to house claim or car into inanimate object claim where your car runs into something else. I'm talking about the claim where you can't see the damage, it's very hard to prove. I'm gonna let the screen go blank so you can read something very important and I'm gonna go dive deep. So stay tuned, watch what's about to appear on the screen. Hey people, this is Car Lane here, hanging out. Want to kind of give you guys a quick tip and also walk you through on how to file a claim properly when it is a mechanical claim. Listen to that, mechanical claim. So unfortunately, it's very hard to prove a mechanical claim. It's not Turo's fault, it's no one's fault. Just very hard to prove. So for example, say you have a chair, you know how you could press a button to move it forward or press a button to move it back or, move, or like move it forward, move it back. If someone breaks that button, like say they press too hard or say they stretch and break the me uh, mechanism inside of it, there's, it's very hard to prove because the difference from an accident, you know the person got in an accident and they damaged your car, that's easy to prove. What's hard to prove is when there's damage done to a car that is mechanical in nature. So say a sunroof and say it doesn't, uh, it doesn't or a convertible, a convert top doesn't convert back or say the uh, button doesn't work when you wanna push the seat forward or or push the convert top back or push the sunroof back and forth and doesn't work any longer. Stuff like that that's mechanical in nature where you can't see the actual damage but the mechanism isn't working anymore, very hard to prove. This is what you have to do, people. Simply this. This will make your life very easy. Of course, as usual, take as many pictures as possible. Um, but what you really have to do is take the car to a shop and then from that point, from when you take it to a shop, you get the person there who's a specialist um, at looking at cars um, in the in that in that um, department of service, and then you have them run their report on it. They'll take the car apart, or they'll uh, remove the screws and take a look internally, and then they'll see upon check, hey, this was damaged because maybe the guests stretched the chair way too far back, and then maybe they moved in an abrupt manner they'll be able to write that there because they see these all the time so long story short when there's mechanical damage you try to file a claim for it typically you're going to be declined and denied unfortunately not because any fault of your own or Toro's own it's just because it's hard to prove you have to prove that the damage is caused by the guests and that guests so what you want to do simply is do this take your car if, if the if the convert top isn't converting back anymore if the sunroof isn't moving back and forth if the chair isn't moving back and forth upon you pressing if it's mechanically broken in some type of uh, fashion take the car to the dealership or body shop get a written estimate stating what's wrong with the car from the professional there and give that to Turo voila that's how you do it that's how you follow a claim so you can make it because if you don't have that you can't prove it and now that's money out of your pocket or money you don't have to pay for damage that was done to your car so do that people get as much documentation take as many pictures but take it to a shop body shop or specialist that can review your car write a report for you and give that report to Turo. very important well if you like the content like subscribe and share Carl Lane out